icon Chinua Achebe, who died last week, was one of the most prolific writers of African literature, inspiring and changing the landscape of not just African, but world literature. Well, I'm now being joined on the news at 10 by a Nigerian writer, Chimamanda Adichie, to discuss the man Chinua Achebe. Thank you so much for joining us on the news at 10, Chimamanda. Thank you for having me. Now, you're one of those who's, you know, been inspired by the late Chinua Achebe. Looking at his works, what strikes you most about his writing? <sighs> um, <laughs> there isn't one thing. I think what's, for me, most remarkable about his work is that there's just a, a sense of authenticity about it. So you read Achebe and you realize that he doesn't have what I like to call literary anxiety. So he wrote his stories the way he wanted to write them. He told the stories he wanted to tell. And, and, and the reason I think that's remarkable is that many writers, I mean, the, just the, the entire enterprise of writing is riddled with anxiety. So you're trying to, you know, imitate somebody or live up to something, and Achebe wasn't. So that was just a sense of being an authentic, um, being authentic to himself, being true to himself is what I think is most remarkable. So among emerging generation of writers, do we have any that is probably towing that line? The line of authenticity, I hope so. Um, I think, you know, I think that I am able to write because Chinua Achebe wrote. I think my generation of Nigerian writers are able to write because he wrote. In many ways, he, he paved the way. And I like to think that because he gave us that confidence and that um, permission to write, that we are also being authentic to ourselves. That's, that's what I hope. Well, you know his masterpiece, of course. Everybody knows that uh, Things Fall Apart was written in 1958 when he was mm. just 28 years old. And um, it's been translated into 50 different languages. Now, many expect that he'd have probably won the Nobel Prize for Literature. Do you think he will now, you know, maybe like posthumously? I don't think they do it posthumously. And I also think the Nobel is a very political prize. I mean, it, it's, not, it, it's, it's a wonderful thing, and I'm happy, for example, that it's come to Nigeria once. But it's not, it's not necessarily a measure of um, how good a writer is. It's, it's quite political. So you have people who will sort of talk about how somebody Chinese got it this year, so next year it can be in Asia, that sort of thing. And so no, I've never been bothered by the fact that Achebe didn't get the Nobel. I don't think that that in any way takes away from really what I think is just the wonderful um, body of work that he's left behind. What I think is a worthy and important way of judging a writer is how much you're read and how much you're remembered. And Achebe wrote books that people read, read, will read, and he created characters that were just indelible. You know, people talk about Okonkwo as though he actually existed. Mm -hmm. And for me, Arrow of God is actually his real masterpiece. And Ezolu, who is the main character in Arrow of God, for me is a real breathing person. I think that's, that's actually the real measure of, um, of excellence in writing. Well, one of his numerous quotes, and I'll just read it out for you, is that art is man's constant effort to create for himself a different order of reality from that which is given to him. Mm. Do you think Professor, late Professor Achebe actually achieved this? Did he embody mm. this? Mm. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, I, you know, I think writing in general comes from a place of um, dissatisfaction. You know, a place of we, we, we exist in one reality and we want to create another. But because he wrote... He wrote realistic fiction, and um, I think that what he did really was in writing Things Fall Apart and Arrow of God in particular, which are sort of the pre-colonial um, books, that he, he brought a kind of dignity to, to our stories. So before Achebe wrote, you know, really, African writing was some well-meaning English person would, you know, write an account of native life, and it would be an African novel. And I think what Achebe did was he just brought this dignity. He told our stories and he gave it such dignity. You know, for many people, Achebe isn't just literature. He's also, he's also history. He's also um, a sense of pride. The people for whom the idea of themselves as Igbo people, as Nigerians, as Africans, really is rooted in Achebe's work. Thank you so much, Shimamanda, for joining us on the News at 10. It's been very interesting speaking with you. Well, I've been speaking with a Nigerian writer, Shimamanda Adichie, and we've been discussing the man, Chinua.